stave lock grove here. I just want to show you my current project, something that I've been working on for the last couple of months on and off uh, in between other jobs. This is the typical artist's life. Um, lots of projects on the go, always looking for new projects. And of course I do my speaking work at schools and libraries and um, I also teach Chinese Kung Fu and I've got a whole business to do with uh, Wing Chun Kung Fu. But today I'd just like to show you about The King's Business, a great little graphic novel I'm doing. Just an eight page short story but it's coming along really well. And um, the story was created when I met a very, very interesting writer called um, Michael Fletcher. Michael B. Fletcher, to be exact, and um, I met Michael at the Tamar Valley Writers' Festival in um, Tasmania, and uh, we, we got chatting and Michael said that he'd, he'd been thinking about you know, the possibilities for a graphic novel for his character, and we uh, corresponded a lot once I got back here, and um, we selected a, one of the stories, and... Basically, uh, I'll just show you what I did. Um, we, we came up with the major characters. This is a character called Weasel. This is a character called the Courtier. This is um, some quick sketches for those characters. Uh, a bit of a character sketch come um, internal, sort of they live under this castle and uh, getting some ideas about what they might look like. Another one, this guy's got spiky hair, which I really like. Um, I'll just go over the computer. Here's some other character sketches. This is the character called Pickle, one of the first ones I did. Uh, this is Pickle done in black and white. This is pencil and ink and scanned. And then I, um, I painted Mr. Pickle in uh, full color in Photoshop. Um, the actual graphic novel I'm doing in uh, traditional acrylic watercolour. Um, well, that was the first the first pickle sketch. He was a little bit too nice maybe, but um, he sits on this throne in the undercastle. And uh, yeah, I like that general idea. So, um, from the initial sketches, uh, the artwork uh, proceeds from the, the script that I write. Um, this is the, the script. Look at this. There it is there. Um, I adapt the story into a script and there's a whole talent in this. Um, basically it's a screenwriting skill which I've gained over years of doing comics and working in film and TV. Uh, so I, I plan it out visually and then uh, these are inked, but um, essentially I, I use 300 gram hot press watercolour paper, which is nice and smooth. I, I tape them up with just plain old masking tape to leave a bit of an edge around here. And then um, once it's on there, you can see some of the pencil marks still. I pencil it up. Pencil, of course, gives you the chance to make mistakes and fix things. And... Um, then I come to the, uh, here's, a, here's the current sheets I'm working on. That's page five, page six about to start on that. There's eight pages all together. The beauty of this is that um, you can sort of work over the edge, especially when I start to use brush and ink. I mean, well, ink, but, you know, brush and colour. I can go over the edges and then the... Um, the artworks look like this. Once I've painted them up and I take the tape off, you get a really nice, clean, white edge. And the whole idea here is I, I tend to do um, uh, digital colouring over the past few years, but um, I'm coming back to a love of traditional media. Um, the reason I chose traditional media was this. I wanted Michael to have something really special to keep rather than just the black and white work. I wanted him to have some really cool originals that he can stick on his wall. And uh, like me, he's a uh, very talented guy that's doing what he loves and putting it out there and, and looking for more success. And uh, 
I wish him all the very best success. He deserves it. His stories are great. And I'm enjoying doing it. Um, so there's just a little insight into into my artist life and just quick around my studio. See it's um there's all the kung fu things there. There's my dear old light box which comes in very handy at times. Things are a little higgly piggly. We just moved into this house, so there's lots of stuff there waiting to be sorted and put somewhere and lots of old paintings trying to wait for something, either they go in a gallery or get sold or find a home somewhere. Anyway, thanks very much for, for watching and I uh, look forward to seeing you again. Bye-bye. Oh, just realised something. Um, in the next video, I'll show you how I pencil up and ink. Give you some ideas about how uh, an artist goes about creating things. Um, I know it's it seems old hat to me, but it's very interesting, isn't it? And uh, especially when you're new to it, you wonder how things are done. And it's great to watch somebody who's done it for years do things because there's a lot of tricks of the trade that make it easier. Okay, see ya. Thank you.